excited to be here and share with you one of my favorite stories and a favorite story by many. Um, my name's Gail, also AKA, I was Fifi the Magic Clown and uh, spent many, many happy years entertaining. But my favorite, one of my favorite stories is the story about Ernie T. Pig. Um, we got Ernie and my very good friend, Gail, a volunteer to be the owner of Ernie uh, because she lived out in a rural part of uh, Utah where pigs were allowed. It wasn't against the law to have a pig. And uh, we did some work with Ernie and trained him and he could do several tricks and uh, there was even a part where we could hypnotize him. But that's another story. This is the day that we were taking Ernie and we had taken him many times, but this one was different. Ernie was trained to uh, walk over to Gail's car. She had a great big soft cozy blanket that she put on the very back seat of the Oldsmobile and Ernie would put his front hoofs right up there on the side of the car and he'd <clears throat> jump up in there get those back hoofs in and he'd strut over on that seat and he'd <clears throat> and just wiggle that cute little pig body right down where he was nice and comfortable. And away we'd go. I, Fifi, would sit in the front seat, big red wig, big red nose, full clown outfit, and Gal would be our chauffeur. We got in the car and we're heading up the street to intersect with the highway. And uh, got on the highway and had not even gone five minutes when all of a sudden, there was somebody in a hurry and jammed right past us and cut Gail off. She had to slam on her brakes so she wouldn't hit him. She did that. Well, we had our seatbelts on. But Ernie, in the back seat, no seatbelt. Not a good thing. The minute she slammed on her brakes and stopped, immediately there was this horrific pig squeal. Now, if you've never heard a pig squeal, it's deafening. Amplify that in a car with all the windows rolled up and a pig in total freak out mode. I whip my head around. All I can see are little hoofs that are up in the air, front hoofs, back hoofs. And Ernie is wedged in between our seat and the back seat all the way down where the feet are supposed to go. I mean, he's stuck. He's a pig stuck. I jump out of the car, run around to the back. I open that door thinking I'm going to go in and help lift him up. Doesn't happen. Ernie miraculously flips over, lands on all four, and shoots out that back door. He must be running like a pig on fire. All I can think of, Ernie's going to get hit. Ernie, our magic pig's going to get hit. I start chasing after him. I'm running as fast as my fat little clown body can go. Ernie, he's running even faster in his fat little pig body. Well, luckily, pigs don't run a lot and get tired. I managed to make it up to him. I grabbed his harness. They thought it was a spontaneous parade. People were now honking and waving and yelling and whistling. I tr caused a traffic jam. People thought something crazy was going on. Well, it was. I walked back, out of breath, of course, waving, dragging Ernie. And that is the story of Ernie T. Pig in the back of the Oldsmobile. Lesson learned, make sure even a pig has a seatbelt. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.